Right, today's session, I'm going to share with you how to create drag and drop activity for your student. So first of all, okay, you go to create new lesson. Then you can try to use any one of the template here. So everything as per normal, okay, you key in all the necessary uh, information. Okay, and even for the activity as well. So for drag and drop is actually one of the quizzes that you can use for your students to check their understanding. All right. So uh, let me begin uh, using this particular plus icon. Do a left click. So over here you can see the different function that you can use but of course today uh, I'm going to show you drag and drop right so select this particular icon do a left click and it will bring you to the next page it looks like this okay and I like to create new so I do a selection left click okay so over here the next step there are three things that you need to key in okay you can set the marks okay it's optional so let's say I have three parts to this question. So I select three marks. Okay, of course you can select more if you want to. And then next thing, I key in the question. So I want the students to identify, for example, Identify the parts of a glassware. Then next, okay, you choose the image. So for this session here, I'm going to show you two types. One is a single image. The second one would be multiple multiple image. Okay, I choose single image first. Okay, I got this picture here. A particular type of wine glass, and make sure the dimension cannot be. Too big the file cannot be too big okay it's stated there so if it's too big you need to edit okay the picture file now next okay to add the answer okay to this particular activity okay either you add image or you add text okay you can also select the different type of sizes as well okay, so let me show you so my first answer you double click to enter text okay then after that okay you can do a selection how big you want the box to be so for original dimension student can easily identify where the answer is located so i suggest it's not advisable right so normally i would select uh, this particular size okay next Okay, double click again, second answer, followed by the third answer. This is the base. Now, after you key in the answer, okay, you need to locate where you want it to be. Okay, so for example, right, the bowl okay, is located here. And then where the stand, okay, you have to do a left click and drag. Okay, let's say you want to place it here. Okay, you can always do your own adjustment, right? And then the last answer, same thing, left click, hold the mouse button, and once you're happy with the positioning of the answer. They let go the mouse button. Okay, so let's say you want to do some more adjustment. Yep, it can be done. Okay. So once this is done, okay, you add. Okay, and there you are. Right, you have done one particular sample. So don't forget, okay, save your work. 
okay you can always go to student view to look at how uh, the thing looks like okay so i'm going to bring you to this particular page all right and student actually have to uh, do this activity by bringing the answer to the diagram itself so once it's done they create submit right so next i'm going to show you uh, how to create multiple drag and drop activity right, using different picture right, to create this so i'm going to show you okay okay same thing left click on the plus icon okay. drag and drop it is uh, create new okay then you set the marks again so for this one i have four identify Now, always remember the recommended dimension is 640 by 960. Right? So you can say JPEG file, GIF, PNG file as well. Right? And it's limited to 10 megabytes. So before you choose the image, okay, so what I'll do is I go back to my PowerPoint slide. Okay, I created a picture, copy and paste onto a PowerPoint slide. All right, and uh, I from here, if I let's say I save directly to JPEG file, it's too big. All right, so what I will do is okay, let me show you. I will save as. This PC itself. Okay, and I need to do a selection. Okay, so it can be PDF, but this time round, I'm going to shape, uh, save it into JPEG file. Okay, and I save. Okay, uh, anyway, I only have one slide. Okay, click OK. Alright, so they have, uh, I created a JPEG file. Okay, and this file is too big. So what I do, I have to edit. Okay, and I try to resize this. Okay, go to pixel, and I need to do selection. So they say is uh, to six forty. Okay, so it's gonna be too big. Okay, horizontal. Click OK, and then you save again. Alright, so my picture file is done. Okay, so I go back to my SLS, choose the image file. Do a left click, okay, it's over here, and I select. Okay, there you are. And then next, I have to key in the answer. Right, so let's say uh, it's best not to choose the original dimension, but sometimes you have no choice, okay, because uh, it could be too big. Right, so for this instance, okay, let me show you the original dimension of the answer itself. Okay, I double click so that I can uh, key in my answer. Let's say shopping dish. Okay, next I have. Warmer. Next, I have water dispenser. Okay, and lastly, let's keep the circuit card. Okay, 
as you can see the words okay they are varies the length itself so uh, that's why i suggest try to avoid using original dimension so student can easily guess what the answer is actually All right so may i will continue using this original dimension and i will then do a left click hold the button and drag the answer to the diagram okay near the diagram okay next copy warmer okay, so you can always adjust accordingly then the last one place it somewhere near the picture okay once this is done you're happy with the answer okay the picture double check again okay, then you add there you are once you add save your work okay and it's done so this is the interface for teachers viewing so if you want to look at uh, how the students view actually have a look okay so that is what i mean you see for example the hot water dispenser the student can easily identify okay so if they put here it doesn't look right okay but it fits nicely onto the box itself okay and uh, the rest yeah perhaps maybe slightly shorter or longer so students can actually guess which one is the answer but at the end of the day is to help the students to understand the, the information that you want for them to, to know right okay so that's the end of my session today thank you okay, and i hope uh, can try out okay so any question always feel free to look okay, thank you